a pair of shaft mounted spur gears have a diametral pitch of 5 teeth per inch with an 18 tooth 20 degree pinion driving a 45 tooth gear. The power input is 32 horsepower at 1800 revolutions per minute and we want to find the direction and the magnitude of the forces acting on bearings A, B, C, D. This is the second example for the spur gear force components main video. The link to the first example and that video are in the description below. If we look at the gears from the positive x-axis, meaning from the right side of the figure, we'd see that gear 3 is rotating counterclockwise due to the interaction force between 2 and 3. The reaction forces from this interaction would be seen on gear 2. For shaft A to keep a constant angular velocity, its angular acceleration must be zero, and therefore its sum of torques should also be zero. The negative input torque that we can calculate from the power and revolutions per minute information, plus the positive counterclockwise torque that W32T is generating on gear 2, should therefore be equal to zero. We know that torque times angular velocity is equal to power, that angular velocity is the revolutions per minute times 2 pi over 60, and that 1 horsepower is 550 foot-pounds per second. The input torque is therefore 1120 pounds-inch. And notice that I do need to convert pound-feet to pound-inches. With the diametral pitch, we can find the diameters and therefore the radii of the two gears. The tangential interaction force is therefore 622 pounds. With a 20 degree pressure angle, the radial component of the interaction force would be the tangential component times tangent of 20. From a sum of forces in the x and y direction, we'd see that the reaction of shaft B on gear 3 in the x direction is equal to the tangential component of the force between gears 2 and 3. And this is true for the reaction of shaft A on gear 2. The reaction in the y direction would be equal to the radial component of the interaction force between the gears. Therefore, the overall reaction force is equal to their hypotenuse value at an angle of 20 degrees. And since each bearing is at 3 inches away from the gear, this means that the reaction force at each bearing is half of the reaction force of the shaft. Thanks for watching.